Are you ready? I I have enough for pity. My last ten until pity. Let's do it. Ah! No! Dang it! And a bunch of rookies. <laughs> ah! I got the worst one. Okay, so I've maxed out the unit. It is now level 100. And the damage isn't bad. So let me go ahead and see which item I need to evolve it. And then I'll go ahead and buy it. Because I do have the 5,000 of the stars to do it. So let's see. I need the frozen mirror to do it. So let's go ahead and buy that for 5,000. And then let's evolve it for an extra 35% damage and mirroring ice crystals, which is its special ability. So there we go. Haka Reflection. And pretty cool unit. We also get a cosmetic for both the um, evolved and non-evolved versions. The exact same. We have all the mirrors floating around the body. And then we have their mask on my face. Which is pretty cool with the red avatars. I think it matches mine decently well. But let's go see how much this unit actually deals. And I have not heard good things about it. So this is not going to be fun. And just because it's super fitting, we're doing it on the Naruto map. And here it is right here placed down. Pretty cool. And whenever it attacks, it actually summons all the mirrors and then shoots at the enemies. Pretty cool. But let me go ahead and get my money up real quick so that way we can actually afford to use the unit. And let's look at the attack one more time. That is pretty nice. And there we go. So I'm guessing let's go ahead and start upgrading it. I really hope it isn't as bad as people say, but I don't have a whole lot of hope. So let's see. 6.9 thousand damage. Same cooldown and one more range. 11,000 damage. Not too bad. Um, 0.5 less cooldown down to 6.2. And then 1.1 1 .1 more range. So there we go. The second upgrade. Third upgrade is 15.9 thousand damage. Same cooldown. And 2.1 more range. So there we go. Ice release. A new ability. Damage goes up to 19.4k. 6.2 cooldown. And 1.1 1 .1 more range. So let's do the upgrade. And let's see. Turns into a big circle AoE. Ooh, that was a cool looking attack. Let's do that one more time. Oh, that is cool. It might be multi and it might not. It's kind of hard to tell because the enemies go come in very slowly. But pretty, pretty cool attack. I like that one a lot. So let's go ahead and keep going. 23.6 thousand damage. 5.7 cooldown and 28.7 range. Not too bad. Um, 30.5 thousand damage on upgrade 6. Same cooldown, and then 1.1 1 .1 more range. Then mirroring ice crystals. This is the ability we got for evolving it. Damage goes up to 41.6 thousand, but the cooldown, the cooldown is 7.2. So it does go up, which is kind of disappointing. And then we get like, eh, like 1.1 1 .1 more range. So there we go. And then let's see. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. It, spawns, it summons in all the mirrors in a giant like dome. And he's using the mirrors to teleport and attack everyone at multi-hit. That's pretty good. It's a good multi-hit. Look at that. Oh, that's cool. Very cool attack. I like that one a lot. Okay, let's keep going. 52,000 damage. Same cooldown, and then one more range. Upgrade 9 is 60,000 damage. We get a 0.5 more cooldown, which is decent. And then 1.1 1 .1 more range. And then that is the maximum stats. That is the maximum attack. Pretty decent range of 33. That's not too bad. Um, I know I rolled bad on my damage, though. So yours might be a little bit better than mine if you end up getting this unit. But let's see on mine, which is definitely below average. I got 9,000 DPS. That's a bit better than I thought it was going to be. But it is not anywhere near meta. Meta units are definitely not as... Meta units are definitely way higher because you have like Poochie with 20,000, which is over double. But let's see. Three, four, four units. So it does have a total DPS of 36,000, which sounds like a lot. But if you compare it to units like Poochie or Aizen, they both have like 20,000 DPS, so like two Poochies. Or two eyes and match the damage of all four of these. Pretty expensive too. 60,000. So you're not exactly saving a whole bunch of money doing these instead of like two eyes. 
But let's see, with a 10% boost, the damage goes up to 66,000. So we get an extra 6,000 damage from that, which makes the DPS 8.2 thousand. And there is Erwin boost, which um, it is a physical, so Erwin boost works with it, which is 25%. So 69,000 damage with like 10.3 thousand DPS. So not too bad on the damage. It's about as good as you're going to get with a Naruto unit in this game. I actually think it's the only Naruto you, you mythical. I, there might be one more. I can't recall any others. So I think this is the only Naruto mythical in the game. So maybe we'll get more later. As I'm editing this video, I realize this is false. There are actually other mythicals from Naruto, which just so happens that this unit is so incredibly bad that when it was added, it was like considered one of the worst mythics in the game, which doesn't bold well for now, because look at this. Only 2,000 DPS, according to the wiki at max level. Oh my gosh. I never I never even tried going for this unit. I totally forgot it existed. And so, I mean, like, if you want to get another Naruto unit, you can go for Naruto Beast Cloak, but I honestly wouldn't recommend doing it because it is just so bad. You need four Naruto Demon Cloaks, which are just really kind of creepy, to be honest. And then two hidden seals from the Naruto, like, raid. I, I don't even know what it was called. I don't even know what it was called, but oh my gosh, this unit is so bad. What I'm about to say next is actually so incredibly true. So I'm going to let y'all get back to the video. Like and subscribe. But I can give it one thing. It's definitely the best Naruto unit right now, for, for sure. Unless I'm forgetting another mythical, which I don't think I am. But from what I've heard about the other units, this is definitely probably the worst one. But I'm actually kind of surprised that it... But I'm actually kind of surprised it went over 9,000 DPS, not gonna lie. And I got a pretty bad roll on mine, too. So, I mean, like, if you get it, you know, the whole lot of mythicals evolve it. It's not too bad. Plus, you might as well do it anyway, because there's a limited time unit that's going to be leaving eventually. So you might as well evolve them. Because they're always doing buffs in this game. So I'll just go ahead and do the unit. And to put it in perspective. And to put it in perspective. And I was just checking to see if they updated it. According to the wiki for the game, 9,000 to 10,000 DPS is colossal damage. And that falls under this category. And this unit falls under that category. So it's definitely one of the best units in the game. But like the worst out of the new units for sure.